All right. Uh, this is William, Williams Philippines. It is April the 13th, 2024. Uh, good morning to all my subscribers. This is William from Williams Philippines. And, well, survived a weekend. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, finished off the coffee and I'm into my Kool-Aid juice, whatever you want to call it. It's a mixture of both. Uh, anyway, yeah, got some things took care of this weekend, not as much as I wanted, but I got some stuff done, and got something I hadn't planned on done, at least I think so, uh, supposed to have somebody coming by Tuesday, or I'm supposed to go over somewhere Tuesday and sign papers on the lot, uh, supposed to get over and do that so yay uh, yeah that's a good thing get some money put into my bank and get it took care of uh, hopefully uh, this is a good company I'm hoping it is never done business with the uh, uh, closing company or the buyers so I don't know we'll see and just like with just about everything else it's a uh, we don't know we'll see because uh, well I don't know about you but I don't know these people I haven't met them before so yeah and all businesses are strange unknown territory until you actually go and use them and see whether they're worth giving your dollar to again hopefully this one here is worth doing business with we'll find out uh, yeah trying to get things done and yeah the uh, keeping this thing going isn't easy keeping writing in the blog or my journal uh, isn't easy so far I've been able to manage this and manage to get one out every day uh, this month so far and got missed one day but it was because of scheduling issues last month but got a got a bit of log out for it it was just it came out when I figured out that I'd goofed and got it posted so it got posted it was one of them was late but pretty much I've been maintaining the little journal here once a day or blog here once a day uh, yeah tree branches yay fun uh, I got more of that in the backyard and I didn't get around to mowing the backyard, but I did get the front yard and the alleyway done. <sighs> I'm going to try to get out there uh, when I get home. And <sighs> uh, Sorry. Get out there and try to get the backyard done. Uh, yeah, the fun stuff. Lawn mowing. Eh, could be worse. Anyway... Uh, trying to get figured out on, you know, what to do with this money for sure when it gets here, and then also get things figured out as to all these pictures, and the more and the more I think about it, I'm just going to pack them up and, uh, you know, pull out 20 or 50 of my my ones I think I have to have, pack them into a binder or folder of some sort, and tote the, just that over, and everything else can go to my aunt's, and she can figure out what she wants to do with them. Even if all it is is just put them in a box somewhere. Uh, I got plenty of them to fill a box, though. It's kind of like, you know, I, I was looking at the 
pictures and remembering where some of those pictures what they were you know most of them are actual 35 millimeter uh, I inherited when my dad passed I inherited his old Nikon camera and so I have actual good camera gear problem is it's 40 50 years old maybe more uh, yeah dad's had some or dad had a bunch of camera gear that was a lot older and yeah uh, it was his stuff from when he was doing photography and you know that's something I'm thinking about as possible hobby over there take and learn how to do uh, excuse me uh, learn how to, how to do uh, photography and you know do uh, the get one of these digital backs uh, the digital camera part and then I've got some lenses it'd be nice to get a couple of lenses that work with you know that are designed for the digital camera but I've got a couple of real good lenses uh, that were my dad's old ones and I understand that you can actually get adapters for some of them and be able to use these lenses on the new camera digital cameras they just don't have all the automatic settings well i don't know photography was something my dad did try to show me a bit of i wasn't near as good as he was uh, yeah it's a <laughs> It's an interesting hobby, and that would be something to tote over there to the Philippines with me and give it a go. Uh, try and get it figured out as to, you know, what makes a good picture. I don't know. I'm barely making it with these, <laughs> but... I can honestly say I was looking at some of the ones I took from when I was in Yellowstone and some of the ones I took for a couple of different uh, family, you know, get togethers at Christmas and Thanksgiving. And these are, you know, 35 millimeter pictures or film. And they actually, a couple of them turned out pretty good. So I'm wondering, uh, you know, if that would be a good hobby to carry over there with me I don't know uh, yeah new territory or old revisiting old territory so I, I was watching a video over there uh, somebody was saying about you know what are you gonna do when you get here I think some guy named James or something like that anyway uh, you know what are your what are you gonna do you know, sit there and sit at the bar all day. Where are you going to find something to do? Now, me, I want to go fishing. And I'm okay with going up the side of a mountain or in, and living on the side of a mountain and gardening. Uh, I don't mind camping on the side of a mountain or down on a beach. Like I say, I kind of would like to put the... Uh, get one of those carabaos and turn it into a camper. And, you know, if I have a camper like that, I could put a push pole on it and mount some radio equipment in there and, well, have a uh, place to transmit that's mobile, goes around and, you know, try to catch what other places I can, you know, uh, see how many different uh, connections I can make, how many other radio stations out there I can talk to. That's one of the things I enjoy doing here. Uh, right now my antenna is messed up. Uh, it got blowed over in a 75 mile an hour wind and decided it didn't want to stand up straight anymore. And while it was a getting bent over and blowed over, it broke a wire in there so I can't transmit. 
and trying to figure out how to get it down to fix it has been a bit of a problem. Uh, but I got uh, one of the guys from the radio club said he'd come over and help me drop it down. Uh, that's going to be an interesting process. But then I also, you know, uh, the the it's a push pole, so a metal pole inside of a metal pole inside of a metal pole that are a little bit smaller each time. We're flared in so that when you get it to pull it up inside there, it fits and gets tight clamp it down and move to the next one kind of thing. Actually, you start in the center and you work your way out. But the one down on the bottom is kind of messed up and no longer anywhere near straight to go back into the you know first joint. So, that's going to be some interesting trying to get it down. Basically, I got a big, long, tall spot. You know, 25 foot of stuff above it and then I've got to figure out how to get this part to collapse into this other one and while 25 foot is waving around in the air uh, trying to get this yeah fun stuff we'll get it figured out even if I have to cut the damn thing uh, we'll see nothing else I can always just take it apart and drop it back over some things but that will definitely make a mess out of everything that's on top of the, the antennas on top of it uh, they're already broke, <laughs> but yeah, well, the two meter isn't broke, uh, the J-pole two meter, but that thing comes down from 30 something feet up in the air and hits the ground, yeah, I'm thinking it might get broke, but we'll see, but yeah, uh, These are just a few of the ideas about, you know, things to do over there, hobbies to do. And, yeah, uh, always uh, some kind of project to do. I'm used to having my little electronics and, you know, building radios and such. And, you know, uh, patching it, you know, fixing a TV when it blows out if I, you know, take it apart look it's already broken i take it apart and look at it and see if i can fix it and if i think i can fix it i try and if i happen to manage to get it to work again well yay if it doesn't work again and it's just more broke than what it already was well it was already broke and i just broke it a little bit more trying to fix it or you know i can pack it back together and say here somebody else try that you know options. I'm not going to try to say I'm perfect at doing electrical, you know, uh, resoldering and component replacement, but I've done enough of it. I've got a little bit of practice and I've built a few, you know, little radios and such. Uh, it is easy to do if you just sit down and know what you're doing. It requires a lot of patience. Uh, you don't just rush through this kind of stuff, but I enjoy that. So, do I want to try to bring over soldering iron, you know, circuit boards and such? Or, you know, an oscilloscope? That's part of what I'm trying to figure out because next Friday, or not next Friday, but next Saturday, they're having that uh, club auction. And I want to try to give that a go and see what I can sell and get rid of. I don't know. There's, there's, yeah. Many different things to try to figure out. But, uh, you know, that James guy was talking, and it's right, you do need things to do. Because I, don't, I can tell you, I don't want to sit there at the bar all the time being drunk. I wasted enough of my life before doing stupid on stupid street, so I don't need to waste any more of it there. And trying to patch myself back together to where I am today, yeah, I really don't need to take and be being stupid on stupid street, and that's pretty much what I see sitting there drinking, is just, you know, going out to stupid street and sitting on the side of it and seeing if I can fall in uh, I don't know <laughs> yeah but hey some folks think that's a wonderful day 
I don't know. Choices, choices. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I don't want to take and go that direction. Like I say, I like I kind of like having my head work and be awake. Uh, being lost on stupid street ain't good. But so yeah, I want to try to figure out a couple of hobbies. You know, fishing takes time. But you can't go fishing every day. You'll get bored with it. So, you know, do that a couple days, three times a month, four times a month, once a week. Eh, that's good. Get, but it still gives you all those other days of the week. So, I'm trying to figure out what do I want to invest time in. I was watching uh, some girl over there near in uh, Naga City talking to some Filipino girls about uh, speaking English and why they have a hard time speaking English. And, you know, it's like, yeah, they just don't get as much practice and don't spend as much time at it as they need to to get really proficient at it uh, you could tell the big difference between a couple of them that were trying but not really that good at it but they were better than a lot of folks uh, but then you, you could tell the difference between the there was a English teacher and she was just talking along like chatterbox like she's over here in America going at it uh, she had to stop a couple times to get the syntax or the actual word she wanted, but she was running through it like it was, you know, standing here in America talking to somebody. She was actually doing real good. A couple of them weren't bad, so. Trying to, you know, learn English. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. There, there's, I guess there's a lot of advantages for learning English over there. Uh, I mean, seriously, uh, a lot of businesses in English, the only one that might be better for business would maybe be Chinese Mandarin or something. I don't know. Uh, just saying, it is what it is. And if you really want to go far in the world, you need to be fairly decent at English or Mandarin. And yeah, uh, since they already have a base in English, uh, trying to get better at doing English would be a good thing, you know. It's an improve, you know, and this allows for improvement of life. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, a whole bunches of ideas and running around in my head always. Uh, Life is uh, about making choices and choosing what you do with you. So the better you getting at making choices that have a, you know, well, when you look down the track to make sure the track is still there and the trussle that goes over the gully is still in good repair and you check out the train to make sure that, oh yeah, it's a still a pretty good train, yeah, you do those kind of things on a regular basis before you go jumping on a train. You might actually figure out how to get to the other station from one place to the next without having a rag. Don't get me wrong. There's always that gust of wind that can come along and blow the train off the track. I know it does happen. Not often, but it can happen. That way... 75, uh, 80 miles, 100, uh, yeah, 75, uh, 80 miles, something that direction, 90, yeah, it just, you know, blew a train literally right off the track, that's kind of worrisome, but yeah, you got to take and make your choices, figure out what you're doing, try to improve your life in a better way, uh, 
I choose to try to be on the positive side and grow a little bit and improve a little bit every day. Uh, something about, you know, uh, if you're always learning, you're, you're, you're never going to die or something like that. Or, uh, I don't know. What you, anyway, uh, you, you don't grow old if you're always learning something about that. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, this is William. Or, yeah, I am William from Williams, Philippines. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Later, blessings. Bye-bye. Anyway, I'm fishing. Fish is out.